What started in the world of running with Nike's release of the Flyknit in 2012 has now made its way into cycling, with Giro releasing a knitted shoe last year and Physic doing the same this year. So the benefit of a knitted shoe is that you get extra breathability because of the holes in the sides and also on this example here from Giro you've got holes in the sole. You also get extra comfort, it's basically like wearing a sock. You can see right through it, I, you can't see it on camera but I can see my hand when I've got it in there. And it also it just provides extra comfort on the bike. So you may be wondering what it's going to be like in the UK with the changeable weather conditions that we do tend to get here. And just before I came on camera, I did actually pour some water over the shoe with my hand in it. And surprisingly, my hand stayed relatively dry, at least as dry as it would when using another shoe, which has like a synthetic leather upper. The big selling points of these shoes are their breathability. Literally, I just had them on in the office. I was just sat at my desk and I could honestly feel air flowing through a lot better than any other cycling shoe. If you're out in the heat of the summer, you're going to get lovely airflow going through your feet. You're not going to get any buildup of sweat in your socks. Your feet aren't going to slip. And on top of that, you're going to stay comfortable on long days in the saddle. We're really interested to know what you guys think about knitted shoes and whether you think they're just a fad or they're going to be here to stay. Just let us know in the comments below.